homogeneity and isotropy of a time. Homogeneity and isotropy of a time. Okay? Time. Time. According to Newton, according to Newton, absolute true and mathematical, absolute, absolute true and mathematical, mathematical, absolutely true and mathematical time of itself, time of itself. Time of itself and from its own and from from its own from its own nature from its own nature flows equality without flows equality without without the relation to anything the relation to anything relation to anything external and external and external and is otherwise called duration is otherwise called duration okay absolute absolute true and mathematical time of itself and from its own nature flows equality without relation to anything external and is otherwise called duration otherwise called duration first number properties properties first one dimensional one dimensional one dimensionality time is one dimensional time is one dimensional Time is one dimensional. Time is one dimensional. Time is one dimensional. It flows only in. It flows only in. It flows only in one direction. One direction. One direction. It is therefore. It is therefore. Therefore, specified by a single variable. Single variable. Single variable. T. It is independent of space. It is. Independent. It is independent. Then of space of space. Okay. Homogeneity. Homogeneity. Next is homogeneity. Second point. Homogeneity. Homogeneity. Time is homogeneous. Time is homogeneous. Time is homogeneous because it flows uniformly. Because it flows uniformly, the results of an experiment do not change when we change the time of an experiment. In other words. The result of an experiment is un is independent of the change in the origin of time. This property is known as homogeneity of time. Third point, isotropy. 
isotropy. Isotropic. Theoretically, time is isotropic. Is that the law of physics remains unaltered by changing plus t to minus t? Unaltered by change plus t to minus t. Okay. Conservation of energy from homogeneity. Conservation of energy from homogeneity of time and Newton second law of motion. Okay. Time is homogeneous. It flows uniformly. The total energy E of a system is given by total energy. Total energy of a system. System is given by E equal to U plus K. E equal to U plus K. Time is homogeneous. It is flow uniformly. The total energy of uh, energy E of a system is given by E equal to U plus K. Okay, where U is the potential energy. U is the potential energy. Potential energy. U is the potential energy. U is the potential energy and K the kinetic energy and K the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay. K is the kinetic energy. The Coulomb's force between two charges Q1 and Q2 or, di or distance R apart is given by F. Fc is given by Fc vector Fc equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 upon R square unit vector R equal to k q1 q2 upon r square unit vector r unit vector r okay where k is constant where k k equal to constant where k is constant constant and the value of k equal to 1 upon 4 pi of xylem naught 1 upon 4 pi of xylem naught Similarly, the gravitational force between two masses M1 and M2 or distance R apart is also given by Fg. Fg, gravitational force. Fg vector equal to capital G M1 M2 upon R square. M1 M2 upon R square unit vector R. Okay? Where G is the gravitational constant. Where G is the gravitational 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 constant. Okay. We find that in the above expression for force time does not appear explicitly by explicitly by explicit dependence on time we mean that the time should occur as such directly in the expression for the force expression for the force now force a conservative system now force force a conservative system conservative system Vector F equal to minus del U upon del R unit vector R. Okay. In other words, U is a function of uh, U is a function of U is a function of uh, vector F and uh, vector R. U is a function of vector F and vector R. Okay. If time flows uniformly, the force acting at a point do not depend explicitly on time. Force F is a function of vector R only. Since E is a function of vector F and R it is also function of uh, vector R only. The principle of homogeneity of time therefore it states del U upon del T equal to 0. Del U upon del T equal to 0. In other words, in other words, in other words, in other words, U is a function of U is a function of function of U is a function of vector 
F and vector R. Vector F and vector R. Its time flow uniformly. The force acting at a point do not depend explicitly on time. Is that force F is a function of vector R? So force F is a function of is a function of vector R only. Vector R only. Since E is a function of F and R, it is also function of R only. Okay. The principle of homogeneity of time. The principle. The principle of homogeneity. Homogeneity of time. Therefore, it is states del u upon del t equal to zero. The expression for kinetic energy k. Expression for kinetic energy k equal to one upon two m v square also does not depend upon explicitly on time. Then del k upon del t equal to zero because 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 the expression of kinetic energy does not depend explicitly on time. Does not does not depend does not depend explicitly 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 on time on time. Okay. Then del k upon del t equal to zero. If total energy E is a function of R and T, then if total energy if total energy if total energy capital E is a function is a function of vector R and T, then E equal to E is a function of vector R and T, then D E equal to del E upon del R D R plus del E upon del T D T equal to del upon del R U plus K D R plus del upon del T U plus K dt u plus k dt okay u plus k dt so d e equal to del u upon del r plus del k upon del r del u upon del r plus del k upon del r del k upon del r del r okay del r plus plus del u upon del t plus del k upon del t dt equal to del u upon del r plus del k upon del r bracket close dr this is the equation number first this is the equation number first okay as as del u upon del t equal to zero and del k upon del t equal to zero from the equation number one we 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 have from the equation number one we have we have d e upon d t equal to del u upon del r plus del k upon del r into d r upon d t d r upon d t now now del u upon del r equal to minus f and uh, del k upon del r equal to del upon del r in bracket 1 upon 2 mv square 
Since V does not depend explicitly on time, since, 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 since V does not, does not depend, depend explicitly explicitly on time, okay? Then del V upon del R equal to del V upon del R. Del V upon del R equal to del V upon del R. But, but del K upon del R equal to MB del V upon del del V upon D, D V upon D R equal to m dr upon dt into dv upon dr equal to m dv upon dt equal to ma. Okay? Hence, hence, <coughs> de upon dt equal to minus f plus ma dr upon dt. The expression within uh, brackets is zero as f equal to m i f equal to m i then function is zero. This is zero. According to Newton's second law of motion, d e upon d t equal to zero equal to zero r e equal to a constant a constant. Okay. Thus we find that the homogeneity of time and Newton's second law of motion lead to the principle of conservation of energy. Thus we find thus we find we find that the homogeneity that the homogeneity that the homogeneity of time of homogeneity of time, the time flow uniformly and Newton's second law and Newton's Newton's second Newton's second law of motion second law of motion second law of motion lead to principle lead to principle Leader to principle of conservation of energy. Principle of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy. Okay, good.